Um, I'm very excited about recent work uh, in our group on uh, in situ transmission electron microscopy to study uh, electrochemical reactions simultaneously with uh, microstructure evolution and uh, mechanics. So this is very important for nuclear energy applications where you have a lot of corrosion and stress corrosion issues. What we are developing are lab on a chip and MEMS technologies, which enables us to look at solid and liquid together in the transmission electron microscope, where we can apply electrochemical stimuli as well as thermal and mechanical stimuli to look at material response. For example, we have looked at how uh, zirconium alloy reacts with oxygen and water vapor, which is relevant for developing accident-tolerant uh, nuclear fuels. And also we have looked at uh, the effect of gases on mechanical properties uh, in uh, environment material interactions. My group has been doing uh, a lot of uh, atomistic level and electronic structure level calculations. But generally these calculations have a time scale limitation, which means that we can only study a small piece of material, but only also for very short time period, like uh, a few nanoseconds. And to overcome that time scale challenge, we have been developing accelerated molecular dynamics uh, uh, techniques to try to expedite, try to extend the time scale range of the simulations. But in order to validate those new techniques, we need some experimental results. And the in situ TM have the same length scale, which is uh, about uh, 1 to 200 nanometers of material that can be directly compared with atomistic calculations uh, with extended time scales. And that allows us to validate our simulation methods. And hopefully, we can extrapolate those simulation results then to longer uh, time scale phenomena, such as hours or days or even 40 years or 60 years, which are the reactor operating uh, times. Thank you.